How do you burden a Hot Wheels collector with his car collection? By burdening him further with a truck collection. And that's what exactly Hot Wheels did by creating the team transport line. Let's talk about it. What's up guys, it's your boy Gifty here, back at it again with another video and today we're going to talk about the team transport line and rank all the trucks. Yes, I know each truck comes with a car but for this video only, we're gonna focus on the truck itself. So I'm gonna be ranking them from 1 to 10 and by the end of the video, we will see what I feel is the top 3 best trucks and the worst 3 trucks. So without further ado, Let's go. So the first on the list is the T1 pickup truck. I think personally, it's a pretty cool looking casting. I think I can even consider it to be a casting itself and not exactly a truck. And for Volkswagen fans, I'm sure you love it. However, as a critic, you know, in a way, I have to criticize the Hot Wheels, like not really, but you gotta know that because it's such a small uh, truck, it definitely costs uh, Hot Wheels less money to produce it. So I can only imagine that by creating this T1 truck, it's the most profitable for them. But other than that thing right there, it's a pretty cool truck. Not too, it's not big, it's not small, and I'll kind of only fit the theme of uh, putting Volkswagen cars on it. So I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Next on the list is the Sakura Sprinter. I think it's a pretty nice uh, looking truck, just a modest looking truck to carry your car around. I think the thing that I don't like about it is that you can't see the car inside because it's a closed uh, it's an enclosed uh, truck but if you don't mind like putting the car outside and displaying it outside the truck I, I guess it, it functions as a team transport truck right and it's not bad looking so i'll give it a 7 out of 10 as well ah uh, um the next one is called the carry-on uh, i i personally don't like it it it's not realistic right like how does the car even get on top of it right like like this uh, there's no ramp or anything so if you want to play with it in a way then you're not able to do that because you're supposed to put the car on slope and when you do put it on the slope for some cars it rolls down the truck it, it just kind of rolls off the truck and i don't like it and because it's triangular in shape it just doesn't really look very nice so i'll give it like a 5 out of 10. right the next one is the retro rig personally when it came out with the snake and mongoose pair i think it looks pretty dope and uh, just like the previous carry-on the only thing that kind of sucks is that there's no ramp to you know like roll the car up in a realistic way but other than that at least your car is gonna rest there you can display the truck it's an open uh, it's an open now uh, i call it open a display so it's not as bad as the carry-on so i'll give it a 6 out of 10. now for the fleet flyer it's similar to the sakura sprinter is just that it has that thing that box which i think is like the sleeping pod right which is a nice little touch it's where the truck driver sleeps but other than that it's the same point as the sakura sprinter so i'll give it a 6 out of 10 as well Oh we all right so next is the aero lift and i think this is one of my favorites so just like the retro rig it's uh, an open uh, air concept you can put the car on it on a flat surface doesn't roll off and it's not enclosed in a container but one really cool bonus feature is that the rear bedding moves so if you want to for, for example load up the car you can actually move the the rear bedding to act as a ramp for the car to roll up into i think some really cool things i saw on instagram is uh, customizers or toy photographers making dioramas out of this truck because you're able to move the rear bedding and i absolutely love all the color schemes that the arrow uh, what i call this the aero lift has come up with so far especially for the hks and the rwb looks pretty dope this one gets a 9 out of 10. now for this now for the ford c800 i think the concept is cool it's supposed to act like a double double deck you can actually put a car on top and on the bottom open air concept you can see the cars themselves but what, what i don't get is the top thing is that even if you put a car on top of it it, it just kind of falls down so in real life when you actually put a car on it is it just gonna scratch the car that's below I, i'm not really sure how the ford c800 works it just looks very wonky with that upper bedding that just kind of falls down if you try to display it or whatnot not exactly sure i feel like hot wheels could have uh, better designed this like if maybe the top bedding was able to rest on the front metal cabin of the truck then i totally get it but then again i'm also not sure how the car will be able to reach the top you know like we're just talking in terms of like realism here yeah it looks cool but definitely one of the most unrealistic uh, trucks that we have in the team transport line so i'll give it a 6 out of 10. on the next stop is called wide open just like the retro rig 
it's an open air concept you guys get the drill and same points as the retro rig so it's a 6 out of 10. so for the euro hauler i know it's just like the fleet flyer and the sakura sprinter i don't know about you guys maybe it's a bit biasness but i love how boxy the Euro hauler looks. Yes, I know it's enclosed. You can't really see the car inside. There's a cool moving part in the rear, but I think out of all the closed or encapsulated uh, uh, theme uh, trucks for the theme transport, I think the Euro hauler is the best uh, looking one and it's probably the heaviest out of all these trucks. So when you hold the Euro hauler in your hand, it feels really nice. It feels very heavy. So just an extra point for this Euro hauler, I'll give it a seven out of 10. So we're gonna save a bit of a time here. The next two trucks is the Horizon Hauler, which is the top one right here, and the Speed Waze. We've seen the Horizon Hauler a few times. For the Speed Waze, we saw it for like the 32 Ford casting, so I don't really know much more of the color scheme, but they're both pretty similar in terms of design. Although the Speed Waze is a little bit funny looking because it has a way longer bed so i don't know this is my opinion but i think it looks a little bit funny but other than that they're both very similar to the retro rig and the wide open so i'll give it a 6 out of 10. <sighs> now now this last one this last one right here is the most special one in my opinion it's the rally van and the rally trailer all right so the cool thing and i mean the cool thing about this is uh, similar to the t1 uh, pickup which is the first one on the list it it, it kind of there's this like extra truck right the rally van itself can act as a separate hot wheels casting like you can display it among your collection as a separate hot wheels vehicle which is like a two-in-one right it's like a two-in-one the same package and not just that it's a three-in-one it comes with a trailer as well so if you have those like matchbox or hot wheels pickup trucks with like a like a small little hook behind the truck you can definitely hook up the trailer make dioramas out of it put a car in the back really really cool i think the only downside to this uh, rally van rally uh, trailer thing uh, right here is the trailer itself the trailer right like the rally trailer is pretty small like other than the ford rs200 that it came with it's very hard to uh, fit um <coughs> it's very hard to fit the other cars in my collection because the trailer is pretty small so it's not perfect but definitely better than the arrow lift in my opinion so i'll give it a 9.5 out of 10. so yeah that is my ranking for the team transport so the top three trucks are this one right here i i have no idea what they are right now because only my editor can see it but yes those are the top three trucks and the worst three trucks in my opinion are these ones right here how about you guys which maybe you can tell me in the comments below maybe not the top three or bottom three but your favorite and the least favorite truck in the team transport line i personally don't like to focus too much on this team transport uh, series because they're very expensive i only personally like the cars and i sell off the trucks that i don't want i actually made a separate videos on this but hot wheels has been releasing way too many series right like the car culture the boulevard we have the id series going on the team transport lots and lots of crazy stuff going on so if you guys want to check out that video where i rant about the many 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 series that hot wheels uh, has going on right now then be sure to check out uh, this video i'll put a link in the description below anyways uh, that's it guys mga kaibigan mga kapamilya ayun na po yung video na to that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this small little rant please don't get offended this is just my opinion but yeah you know there's gonna be haters in the comments but hey that's it for today's video hope to see you guys next time and i'll see you guys and i'll see you guys next time i'll watch it up my outro huh. bye bye